until we begin to change this perception of God as something that has to be a, a, a spectacle, a marvel, before we can begin to attach divinity to it, it becomes a problem. There is a, a question Bishop Honor of Onsoka has continued to ask his people. And the question is this. Why is it that during benediction in our parishes, maybe on Sunday evening, when the blessed sacrament is placed on the altar and the priest raises it up, people maintain solemn adoration. You will not hear people shouting, Jesus! Nobody shouts. You will not see people falling under anointing. People maintain solemn adoration. If you go to chapel of adoration, you see people there, they are praying, they maintain certain adoration. But go to any prayer ministry or come to Thursday adoration. You see people falling under anointing, speaking in tongues, and, and he will be like, is it the same Jesus you encounter during a, 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 a benediction? You see the same Jesus that stays in the chapel, chapel of adoration that is now an operating during adoration. And then, he asks a question. Is it that Jesus that is pushing you to the ground and you are tumbling on the ground? Or is it the priest that is pushing you? And then he spoke it in a, he spoke it in a beautiful Nsoka dialect. There was a way he put it. But we need to begin to ask this question. Because this ideal of God as something that assumes the nature of phenomenon, as something that must take the nature of spectacle, is creating a stumbling block from encountering God in the ordinary events of our existence. It's creating a problem. And if care is not taken, many of us are going to lose heaven because of this. Many of us are going to lose heaven because of this. Because for you to have an ordinary beggar there, for you, it doesn't, not imp if, if, even if you are doing it, you are just doing it for just, for, let, let's fulfill our righteousness. You are not convinced you are helping a full human being. You are doing it with every sense of condescension, every sense of disregard. That there is no connection, there is no appreciation of the person's humanity. You just do it for the sake of doing it. But maybe somebody opens your eyes, perhaps this beggar that I just, just, just accosted you is Jesus, veiled in the ordinary appearance of human being. Maybe by that time you begin, you begin to treat that person differently. But what if your attitude to life is such a positive attitude that you are open to encounter divinity even in the least expected places? I am telling you, one day you will minister to angels unknowingly. That was what happened to Abraham. Abraham saw people going their way. He doesn't know them. But because Abraham was such a kind-hearted man, he beckoned them, please come in. Let me wash your feet. And then have some bread before you continue on your journey. That hospitality alone opened the door of favor for Abraham. Because before those visitors left, they told him, by this time next year, your wife will have a child. So people who have a positive approach to life, people who look out for the best in their very human being, they are aimed for blessings. And that was why those people who, meant, who entered heaven in the Gospel of Matthew 35, 25, were surprised when they were told, the reason why you are inheriting this heaven is this. I was hungry, you gave me to eat. I was naked, you clothed me. I was sick, you visited. And they were like, Lord, when did we see you? When did we see you naked, hungry, and help you? And then came the response. Imere <laughs> Agona, agomo, inyemo, 